And I've done a lot of MMP reviews on the channel, but this is probably one of the more special ones that I've done. This is a first look at the new Smith & Wesson Spec Series. Now the MMPs have been out for a long time, and this is actually the fourth year they've done a specialized gun, but there's a lot of first in this specific MMP that I've never seen them do. So I'm gonna talk about that stuff as well, some of the cool features on this one. And of course, I wanna hear from y'all after the video. What do you think about this specific gun and the MMP metal, which is what this is based on, how do you like those guns? If you own one, how do you feel about it compared to the standard polymer Smith & Wessons? Now I gotta thank these guys for sending this gun out because that it's just huge that I'm able to show off this gun to y'all and give you a first look. So big thanks to those guys. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. Let's go and get into it. Now the first thing you'll notice is the olive drab Cerakote. Now I know they do FDE, obviously the MMP metal last year, I think they did like a bold gray Cerakote. Um, obviously they do black guns. I don't know if I've ever seen an olive drab from Smith & Wesson. I wanna say they did them in the first gen. I'm not quite sure there, but all I can say is this one here with the black accents looks really good. I mean, it is a fantastic looking pistol just right off the rip. The other thing you'll notice is the faxing compensator up front. So they have specialized ports. They have a couple of ports on each side, and then they have a big port on the top of this. It is mounted to a 4.8 inch threaded barrel. They have the new uh, competitor front and rear slide serrations there. I like the fish scale style serrations. These do a much better job though. Give you a better bite. They come all the way up to the top of the slide. Really nice job there. They've also done some lightning cuts on the side and on the top of the slide right there to help with reliability since we're running the comp. Another thing that they did is this is actually the inaugural year for them incorporating Performance Center into this pistol for their limited series. So that's pretty cool. So you're gonna get the Performance Center sear, which let's be honest, the flat face trigger is already good. The Performance Center guys, just tune this thing up to make it feel even better. It's really impressive. If you've ever had a performance center, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is no different. We have the optic system from the core, and then we have the suppressor height sights to be able to co-witness with your optic. Picatinny rail, of course, reversible magazine release. It actually comes with four mags. So two 17 rounds and two 23 round extended mags right there interchangeable palm swells, just like all of the MMPs there. And it actually has a little bit different uh, logo there on the side of the uh, barrel hood. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And just like any MMP, by the way, these are night sights, but just like any MMP, you get the 18 degree grip angle, which just makes these so natural shooting at the range. It really is impressive. And it doesn't just go for the full size guns, for the shield, the shield easy, the equalizer, all of their pistols just feel really good and super natural and getting on target is easy. Now, one thing I noticed with the MMP metal and even the competitor is they're already fairly flat shooting guns, but the competitor is a little bit less felt recoil, a little less muzzle rise than the standard MMP metal that I reviewed, I think it was earlier this year or the end of last year. So having this one on a full size frame with that comp, I can imagine, and this is just a guess right now, but having shot a lot of MMPs, this one here is probably gonna be extremely flat shooting. You know, I spent some time with some comped pistols over the past year or two, and uh, I know that they will do a really good job. Now, depending on the comp, you may get a little bit of jumpiness in the slide, but typically it will lead to a uh, less muzzle rise and less fell recoil to an extent as well. And so I'm interested to see how this is gonna do. So one thing that I will be doing when I get out to the range is I'm gonna take the original MMP metal and I'm gonna fire these side by side. So make sure that you're subscribed, notifications on so you don't miss that video because I'm gonna see just how big of a difference this comp actually makes on this gun. A Couple of other things, they actually send a challenge coin with the year, it's got the specialized logo on there. So that's pretty cool. They also have a carambit knife. 
So it's got a little Kydex sheath for it. It's got a belt clip. I kind of wish this had the hole up top so you could actually, you know, index it and, you know, do that. But anyways, it is still pretty cool that it comes with it. And I want to say MSRP is like a thousand bucks considering you have the comp, the high night sights there, optics ready, cuts in the slide there, lightning cuts, four magazines, knife and the challenge coin. That's pretty freaking good value. And so all in all, man, I'm really excited to get this one out to the range. And again, I'll make sure to take the original MMP metal, show that one off, and we'll see how much of a difference this comp really makes. Love to hear from y'all on this one, man. What do you think about the spec series from MMP? Let me know down below. If you like what we do, consider subscribing. You could also join us on Patreon or join the channel right here and never have to leave YouTube and get some pretty awesome perks. Big thanks to you guys. See you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.